All right, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is uh, Stay Frosty Gaming Pod. So this is obviously Stay Frosty Gaming's YouTube channel, and basically all this is just going to be a podcast portion. So if you know the channel, you know that I upload game videos from Fortnite to Hogwarts Legacy to Battlefront to Siege. I also upload uh, reels and and I sometimes do polls about certain things going on. And basically, I've been wanting to get out a podcast uh, session for a while now, for about maybe around a month, about four, three, four weeks. And I just never been able to. I thought it'd be a good idea to kind of talk about what's in the now or what I'm doing at the moment and, and my opinions on it. And I've always just kind of run into roadblocks, whether it's like some kind of technical issue or simply just me not knowing how to do anything or even procrastination. Um, or sometimes I just get busy so here's the actual actual attempt in doing this and uh, basically I saw YouTube when I when I go to fix my channel and I have like my playlist creation stuff like that there's a section called podcast and then even when you click to create there's a uh, option for podcast so I thought this is where the idea of the podcast came from is I thought you can click upload podcasts and YouTube would record for you and you could just talk into whatever mic and upload that straight to YouTube and then upload a thumbnail and turns out it's not like that it's basically just creating a podcast playlist and then you record on your own you make the thumbnail on your own and then you make the video and then you just upload that to YouTube under the podcast playlist you created so um, I was definitely wrong there, but I guess this isn't too far off. So basically, I'm just going to use this recording software and get right into it. Um, but what, like I said, I've been wanting to do this for a while. I, I really do think podcasts are pretty fun. There's a billion of them out there now. And definitely some of them aren't original, but I thought it's pretty cool that if you kind of just have one for your own. I used to do it a long time ago with uh, friends and... Um, I always kind of like the idea of being in conversation. I don't want to say I like talking to myself. That sounds weird. But I like the idea of being able to hold a conversation in general and talk about opinions, stuff like that. And with that being said, everything that I'm going to say is just opinion-based, guys. It's just opinion-based. Nothing is factual. Nothing is set in stone. I don't have any, you know, right over anybody else and and then saying that what I, I think is, like, correct. This is just pure factual and how I feel about what's going on. And so don't take anything seriously. Like, don't get mad if I say something wrong. Don't get mad if I mess up. Don't get mad if um, if it's not what you think or whatever. Just simply let it be as it is. No harm here. No hate here. Let's just let it go. Uh, this is basically just my opinion. And if you want to listen to it and debate amongst yourself, go for it. And I'm always welcome to you replying in the comments and and or or sharing your own opinions with me and um having a a legit nice like debate or other opinions to kind of counteract or or go off of as well so like i said if you want to get involved don't be afraid to comment don't be afraid to post and and talk about what how you feel or what you think is right or whatever and i'll try my best to get back to it or you know, evaluate it and have a friendly, nice debate and conversation with you. Like, again, like I said, nothing too serious, nothing too crazy. You know, leave the leave the debating for other people. Like, leave the, the cutthroat debating to other people. Um, and this is just a nice, chill podcast. They're not going to be very long. I only want them to be around 30 to 45 minutes. Um... Like I said, I used to have a previous podcast with friends, and when you have a lot of people, a lot of people have their own thoughts and ideas, and it tends to get carried away, and then sometimes when you're aiming for an hour, it turns to an hour and a half, two hours, even two and a half hours. I don't want to do that. It's a lot of rambling. It's a lot of information, a lot of input. I'd rather just kind of keep it simple, get to the point, and go from there. So... Without further ado, welcome to Stay Frosty Gaming Pod. This is technically the pilot episode, episode one, technically episode zero. So let's go ahead and get into it. I've been meaning to talk about this, like I said, for about three or four weeks now because it just dropped. And today's topic is Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3 Wrecked. Mm -hmm. Their new season that just dropped earlier in May. And... 
the season's all over the place. We'll we'll go ahead and just start it off there. And before I get into my thoughts about it, uh, let me go in depth on what's going on here. So, this season, like last season, was very godlike. Yeah, I had like Hades and and you know uh, Olymp- Olympia god stuff and all that. I didn't really play it too much. I didn't think he was that that amazing, and I kind of got carried away playing other games. But this season has taken a left turn, no pun intended, and it is focusing on a type of Mad Max style season where the new season is called Wrecked and Fortnite's map has turned into the Wrecked Wasteland. It is, like I said, Mad Max type of feel to it. It has death car, like rally, arena battle type situations. Uh, I don't think this season is directly related to Mad Max, so this came out, I believe, around the same day Mad Max came out, Furiosa, the new Mad Max, but I don't think they're correlated. I don't think they have licenses to share with each other. I just think Mad Max came out this day, Fortnite came out with their season this day, and it just kind of went that way. I don't think they're related, so keep that in mind. Uh, Because I don't think I've seen any Mad Max items. I might be wrong. I haven't bought the Battle Pass and I haven't looked at it. I've just played this season. Anyways, like I said, it's kind of got the Mad Max feel to it. So it's called a Wrecked Wasteland. It's a Death Car Rally type of deal. And the Battle Pass also consists of some pretty cool items, some pretty cool skins. And it also includes Fallout, the new show that just came out on Amazon. Obviously, classic game that everybody loves. Uh, like Fallout 76 and all that. Um, and the show just came out on Amazon. It was very successful that it made its way into Fortnite. And if you buy the Battle Pass, you can unlock items from Fallout. Like, for example, you can get the T60 armor. And I think there's even different variants of it. Like I said, I haven't bought the Battle Pass. I think I've only skimmed through it. But I think you can get the T60 armor like in a regular color and a black and red color and some other color. So if you're really into Fallout and you you dig the show, you dig the games, and you also like Fortnite, why not get the Battle Pass, get some Fallout gear, and, uh, you know, just kind of enjoy the whole process there. It's always good when good content is uploaded to video games and they are able to share each other's licenses and stuff like that. So getting into it, like I said, rally car, death car type things. So one thing they added is enhancements for the vehicles. So Fortnite added vehicles not too long ago. Um, well, kind of like a while ago. It wasn't there f- since day one, but now you know, you've been able to access vehicles and drive around the map uh, faster to avoid the storm or just get from point A to point B in fashion time. They even added um, Rocket League-esque cars with like Nitro and stuff like that. So basically Fortnite took that to the next level with this death rally stuff and added enhancements to the vehicles so not only do you get in the vehicle you can run over these boxes that contain car enhancements and there are three different enhancements you can get for a vehicle the first box you can run over um, is a tire enhancement and it is a green box I believe and it consists of two different enhancements it's the bulletproof tires or the off-roading tires pretty self-explanatory um, the bulletproof tires, basically your tires can't be shot out, they're bulletproof, and uh, can't be damaged, uh, and the off-roading ones, like I said, pretty self-explanatory, um, they just turn into uh, your tires into off-roading tires and you can traverse the wasteland a little bit better. It's important to know that the wasteland does turn into like a desert wasteland type deal, so the the roads are supposed to be a little bit more rough, a little bit hard to traverse, but... Um, I really found not too much of a difference between using off-roading and using bulletproof tires. And if it's one thing that I know, when my off-roading tires or normal tires get, tires get shot out and I can't drive correctly, it's a hassle just trying to maneuver and like f- fix yourself. So I, I kind of recommend just using the bulletproof tires. I don't think there's that much of a difference and you kind of stay safe from getting caught. The second enhancement is a front bumper. Um, there are two. There, these are in a blue box that you run over, and you can get the cowhide uh, front bumper, which is this big metal bumper in the front. For those of you that don't know what a cowhide is, like I said, it's this big metal bumper that attaches to the front part of your car, 
and it's meant to like ram into objects so it's this big metal bumper and it's meant to just run directly into other cars when you run into other cars you do lots of damage to them you can even flip them send them flying that's what the cowhide is for and then the other one is the um the other one is the spiked bumper the spiked front bumper which is kind of used for doing melee damage to um players you run into players with the the spiked front bumper and it does a pretty good amount of damage so i personally like using the spiked front bumper i don't know about other people um with that one that one's kind of like in the middle i guess for me i, don't, I can't really judge but uh, i enjoy using the spiked front bumper and 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 hitting people with that it does a lot of damage it sends them flying and it and it looks cooler i don't know the next enhancement for your vehicle is the gunner so these are in red boxes that are around the map and when you run over the gunner there's two of them there's grenade launcher which just self-explanatory fires grenades out and you can fire up to like about six or seven before you ha it has to like regenerate and there's also the uh, machine gun turret which again just like the grenade launcher it's a t machine gun and it's an it's both of these are, are over your passenger side by the way and unlike the grenade launcher where it just shoots and blows up on like kind of like impact or or when you hit somebody else or somebody's vehicle the machine gun turret is more or less just like a gun in the game you can just aim with it and shoot and it does a lot of damage with that too uh, each car is normally around 15 to 1800 in health, I believe. I think that was pre-nerf, though. I think after nerf it might be a little bit less. Um, but basically, those are the three enhancements you can get by driving over the boxes. You can only, you can't have both of the same thing at the same time, but you can have all three active. So you don't have to just choose one. You can get bulletproof tires with a, a front spiked bumper and a machine gun turret or off-roading tires uh, machine gun turret cowhide or spiked bumper off-roading tires grenade launcher turret you know you can have all three active at the same time all three of the categories of the colors um, but you just can't have both of that same one um, the other thing I will say too is that like I said each car the gun turret is on top of the passenger side so in order to operate it you have to be in the passenger seat so if you're in a two two vehicle yeah you, you can have your driver and somebody in the passenger seat operating it or you can switch a lot of people do this normally um, in single player games is they soup up their car they drive around the map and then they whenever they see somebody they kind of like slow down near them and then they'll, they they can seat swap into the passenger seat activate the gun turret and like use that um there are suvs around the map too and again you can have somebody driving but um the turret is only over the passenger seat and if you're in the back seat nothing works the only thing you could do is just kind of like aim out and stuff like that and shoot from the back seats you have to be in the passenger seat and if you're running solos i highly highly recommend just using the two seater because when you use the four seater even though it has more health you have to swap around all four um seats to get back to where you want so if you're driver's seat and you see somebody you swap to um gunner seat to shoot and then you want to go back to driver you have to go you know to the to the back seats first and then back to the driver you have to do a full rotation and sometimes you can misclick sometimes you can go over on accident so I just recommend the, the two-seater they're faster and um, they, they do the job well um, lastly for cars again uh, box related there is a white box that you can drive around that has a repair symbol on it so anytime your car has damage done to it you can drive over these white boxes and they give you they heal your car up all the way as well as there are repair stations around the map all you have to do is just go to the mini map and find like a, a little gas station with a repair symbol on it if you go to there you can sit your car on top of this kind of like platform and it repairs for you and um 
it repairs for you and you know all, all the way to your car's full health and then you could drive away you just got to be careful if you run into the little repair like thing on the side it'll blow up and it'll do more damage to you than even repair you so just be careful there as well as there is also a blowtorch in the game which is used to repair your car so what you can do and, and I've done it before is if you have the blowtorch equipped in your loadout you can get out of the car and blowtorch the car and your health will go up as well as if you're driving and you like aim out of the car like if you're gonna shoot you can equip the blowtorch and repair while you're like driving essentially you could even have people in the passenger seat if you're playing duos trios or quads repairing the car as well um aside from that that's that's pretty much the only thing about the car they added a couple things let's shift over to ground loot now uh ground loot is they basically just have you know some unvaulted weapons, some weapons are vaulted, some are unvaulted. Um, as far as I can remember, it's a lot of, you know, Harbinger SMG, uh, Thunderburst SMG, and then you have your Warforged Assault Rifle, your Hunter's DMR. Um, there's another AR, I can't remember what it is, but it actually uses submachine gun rounds. Um, the hand cannon is in the game now. Um... And uh, you have your close quarter shotgun with three rounds. You have your iron forge shotgun, I think that's what it's called. Or hammer shotgun, that's what it is. And then you even have the combat shotgun, uh, which has been in, in previous seasons as well. Uh, I don't think there's any snipers in the game. If there is, I haven't seen them, nor have I been killed by them. But um, I don't think there's any snipers. And then some of the new things they added was... Well, they have a crossbow, which I think has been in the game before. I'm not exactly sure, but they've brought it into the game. Uh, the crossbow is pretty important when it comes to dealing with cars. It does damage, as well as they've added boogie bombs again. They've added shockwave grenades, which has been in the game for a while now. Um, they've added a new thing called nitro fists, which is very, very important. I'll get into that right now. And then a new way of healing, aside from... Um, bandages med kits and you know 50 and half pots or half pots and and minis they added something called nuka cola which is a fallout reference by the way for those of you that know you know for those of you that don't know now you know it's a fallout reference it's a beverage in fallout and it is now in fortnite it, it when you see it it's purple it has an epic color to it it has a nuka cola shape to it and it says nuka cola you basically just grab it and it has a pretty cool animation you pop the lid you drink the nuka cola then you flip the little um the lid you you kind of like you know flip it like a coin flip and then you catch it and it shows the screen that it's like nuka cola and you do the little like you know um satisfaction like ah type thing like you know you just had a nice refreshing drink and it heals your shield i don't think it heals health but it heals your shield i think up to 75 and you can hold up to two or three so those are pretty neat if you find them throughout the game they're pretty cool to have uh, definitely try it out now going back to the other ground loot um pre-nerf by the way pre-update by the way the cars were just so op um first game i ever played i got just absolutely dummied by a car um i was thinking i was fine i didn't want these nitro fists i saw them i didn't know what they were about i thought i was fine i didn't need them whatever like leave them there i was walking around with like an ar sub a shoddy and like minis or whatever or something else and uh this car pulls up to me and i was a little confused because he stopped and then i saw his machine gun turn kind of like activate look at me and just delete me from the game so it was immediate that i knew that whoa okay cars are kind of OP like just from my first game playing that you can kind of tell so I started playing more and more and more and I decided to grab the vehicles which could be found at any location really and uh, it was apparent that the vehicles were very OP they did a ton of damage they had a lot of health it was easy to repair them as well as you can just drive around repair in random places and there's also these slurp cacti that when you hit them they explode slurp juice which not only repairs your vehicle but even the health inside for the personnel in the vehicle too up to 30 
um, health. So it was very evident that the cars are OP. People were complaining about them a lot. Even big streamers like Ninja and stuff like that were just coming out saying that they hate the season, it's too OP, they screwed up, blah blah blah. I didn't think it was like too terrible, but I did know that you needed a car to win. And then I eventually found out that Nitro Fists are super important. So this is going back to Nitro Fists uh, and Ground Loot. What Nitro Fists are is it's these, they added this thing called Nitro in a game where you can pop it much, kind of like Slap Juice, you know when you pop Slap Juice and uh, you go, you have uh, increased stamina, Nitro, um, Nitro is the same thing, you pop it and you kind of just get this adrenaline boost, so these gloves have Nitro infused in them, and there's three functions to these gloves. The first one is if you're simply just on the ground clicking the fire button with the gloves, you will just do a punching animation and it does a pretty good amount of damage from up close uh, the second function to them is if you click the ADS button the aim down sight button while you have the gloves on he will do an uppercut and shoot up into the air um, while you're in the air in whatever direction you're facing if you click the punch button or the shoot button the trigger button whatever you're using you will shoot forward in that direction that you punched. So the gloves are end up becoming pretty important because they do a lot of damage and there's four charges on these gloves. So you can punch upwards four times, you could punch forward four times, you could punch unlimited while you're on the ground, but when I say punch forward when you're in the air, you kind of shoot forward like to gain ground. And it's super important because people use them to um, evade. People were, had them on them to evade vehicles, and they get pushed by vehicles. They would switch over to the Nitro Fist, and they would uppercut twice in the air or something like that just to get elevation, and then punch forward twice to just go really far. So they're super important. Like I said, they have four charges on them. And once you use a charge, it has like a 8 to 10 second cooldown to, or so, something around there, to gain um, its charge back and eventually after a while you'll get all four charges back and you can basically use them the whole time they don't run out the only thing is there is a cooldown for these charges so people would notice that since the cards are so OP you needed basically Nitro Fist and even like a crossbow or something to to stay alive if you don't get uh, if you don't have a car you know that's that's what it was was if you don't have a car and cars chasing you, you don't have nitro fists or some way to get out, you're pretty much dead. I mean, that's just what it was. Um, you had one other strat too that I think is very annoying, but when I'm playing solos, it's happened before. For some reason, the cars don't have biometric like locking capabilities for the door. So if you hop in a vehicle, and you're driving around, you have to switch to the passenger to the driver, passenger to the driver, and you, f you have to get close to somebody to kill somebody, you gotta be careful because that person can run up to your vehicle and hop in your vehicle and you won't be able to damage them at all. I think it's a stupid thing that they added in the game. I really wish they fixed that. But, um, people, it, they'll use that as a strat when they're about to die, they're about to get eliminated, they run up to your car and they just hop in your car and now it's basically their car. Um, so before I move into the pre-update and the pre-nerf and all that, let me get into map design real quick. So, um, the map for Fortnite, like I said, they turned into a wrecked wasteland. They didn't change the whole map. A lot of the top of the map and the, and the sides are the same. They really just kind of worked on like the middle to the bottom of the map and they, they made it a desert wasteland. They added a couple things. So first off, they added Reckless Railways. They also added Redline Rig, Brawler's Battleground, Brutal Beachhead, and the Nitro Dome. Um, these are all new places that have like repair stations and stuff like that for your vehicles. Uh, you can find vehicles there. You can find a bunch of mods there. So go to these places. And it's also very important to know that each one of these places also has a boss. Not each one, sorry. But some of these places have a boss that you can battle. Um, the first one, if uh, Redline Rig, there's a guy there named the Machinist or the McKinnist. I don't know how you pronounce it, but I think it's Machinist. 
and if you beat him each boss has a medallion so you beat him he drops his medallion that will show you on the map that you have it that you've beaten the boss as well as he drops a legendary combat rifle if you go to brutal beachhead there is a character named Moglodon, and if he's not there then he's on the map driving around so just if you don't see him there look on the map and you'll see a symbol of Moglodon saying that he's driving around and you can attack him there not always at brutal beachhead but if you beat Moglodon uh, he will drop a combat shoddy which is legendary uh, his medallion and this one's super important he will also drop mythical or legendary nitro fists so where the other nitro fists that you find as ground loot are purple they're epic color and they have four charges his mythical one Moglodon will drop one that holds five charges to it and I think it's even less recharge time for them so if you can pick up those gloves you, if you eliminate somebody and they have them or you find Moglodon you can beat them real quick definitely get those gloves because they're a huge advantage in a lot of games that I play where I get to the end somebody has them and he's used to doing pretty well with them that extra charge really is enough to to do a lot of damage whether it's attacking somebody evading somebody uh, I highly recommend him the last boss, which is um, in the Nitro Dome, for those of you that don't, know, that don't know, the Nitro Dome is the battle arena and it is the heart of the, the wrecked wasteland. It is basically where people go to customize their vehicle. You can find four vehicles in the Nitro Dome itself and like a bunch outside of it. And in the Nitro Dome is basically like this dirt track kind of deal with like metal walls and there's buzz saws in there there's fire that comes out of the ground there's ramps in there kind of like monster truck type vibes and there's also a lot of those boxes that contain the car enhancement upgrades such as the machine gun turret the grenade launcher the cowhides there's repair boxes and people go in there soup up their cars and you can drive around and just kind of have like a death car rally battle arena session in there if there's other people in there i've had it before where it's like me and another person or two three four cars in there and it's kind of like chaos a little bit but it's pretty fun it's pretty fun to do it's pretty fun to see where where you kind of stand with battling these vehicles are you good with them are you bad with them how are your driving abilities um so try that out go to the nitro dome drop there a couple times it's really cool it just looks like this big battle arena that kind of looks very punk rockish and when you drop there it actually plays like punk rock kind of music there so when you you'll you hear songs from various artists and it kind of has that punk rock vibe to it there's fireworks that go off in there and fount fountain fireworks and stuff like that and it looks really really cool and aside from that there's a boss in there named scar uh, if you defeat her, she drops her crossbow, which is a legendary or mythical crossbow, I can't remember. And I think where most crossbows can shoot three rounds, hers can shoot five, I believe. And those do pretty good damage to vehicles. So if you are big on crossbows and, and doing damage to vehicles from distances or even just in case you get encounter some, definitely fight her get her medallion because she'll drop one she'll also drop the um crossbow and she also gives you access after you beat her there's tunnels that lead into the nitro dome from the sides um her vehicle which is called the lockjaw it's her own personal souped up death rally car vehicle um you can you have access to it so you can once you beat her i guess you get like it unlocks you can go to it it's in one of the tunnels i believe uh, the gate open it's locked up in the gate the gate opens you can hop in and use that I believe it has more health it has like off-roading tires or bulletproof tires and it does damage or whatever it, it's basically just a small uh, a higher enhancement it's nothing too crazy you're not going to become Thanos when you drive around with it but you know it, it has a, a pretty good um, small enhancement to it compared to the other normal vehicles so I, I recommend if you could run into it, grab it and use it. Um, aside from that, there's also uh, death rally car buses driving around. Those are usually where the other um, bosses are. If they're not at Redline Rig or, or Brutal Beachhead, they'll be driving around near these things. 
and you can actually if you're in a squad of two three four people you can take over the bus and essentially with the buses you have a driver of course so one guy's in there and there's two grenade launcher turns at the top and then a passenger seat so you can have all four people inside this bus and just cause kind of like crazy havoc i did on like my second or third game and it was absolutely wild uh, meanwhile i think metallica was just blasting in my ear the whole time and i'm pretty sure i lost hearing for a little bit because everything was just so loud but those are driving around too you'll see them on the map they have like um little like skull symbols on them if you ever want to try those out definitely try those out now going back to pre-nerf like i said vehicles were very very op and people found out right away that you weren't going to live long if you didn't have some kind of healing. Nitro fists, maybe even a crossbow and or shockwaves or something. So there was a lot of complaints that the cars are just OP. People couldn't get away from them. They kept dying. Big streamers like Ninja who are, are constantly complaining about the season. And it's kind of taking a hit because, you know, the vehicles are fun to use. Don't get me wrong. I thought the season was a solid six or seven from the drop. Um, but they they had to do something about it, and they nerfed the cars pretty good. Uh, they do less damage now with the grenade launcher and the machine gun. Uh, they have less health, as well as they've added a couple things on ground loot to help out a little bit better. Um, obviously, the Nitro Fists were always in the game from the start of this update, but they also added that the Nitro Fists have a less recharge time to get your recharges back so you can use them a little bit faster. They also added boogie bombs, which I kind of don't like, and I'll go into why I don't like them. So the boogie bomb, they added them in the game simply to combat against cars. Um, when a car pushes you, whether it has one, two, three, four people in it, if you hit it with the boogie bomb, everybody inside the vehicle will automatically exit. The car will stop. Everybody will automatically exit and just start dancing, and then it gives you a chance to either A, run away, B, attack. Or C, do whatever the hell you, you want to do. I don't know. Um, my only issue is the first game they added these boogie bombs. And, and they they put this nerf into effect. And they added these things to help players. I got into a top three situation. And the other two guys were attacking each other. And I was kind of third partying in a way. And the guy used his Nitro Fist and shot over to me after he killed one of the guys. And he hit me with about six or seven boogie bombs in a row. It was insane. I was dancing for like two minutes straight. It was crazy. And I actually almost killed him because on one he missed the boogie bomb. And I pulled out uh, I think a hammer shotgun. I shot him in the head. And I broke his shield and did damage to him. And then I pulled out the sub and was hitting white on him. And then he hit me again with another boogie bomb. And then he actually bolted out of there came back and hit me with like more boogie bombs just basically until he just kept like shotgunning me and then boogie bomb shotgun boogie bomb and then i died so i got hit with like six or seven boogie bombs so it's very apparent that some people kind of take that call of duty strat and they farm these things that i i think it kind of becomes like an exploit you know they kind of exploit this type of anarchy you know where it's like it's like an unorthodox way to play Similar in Call of Duty, I don't know if any of you guys have seen in Warzone, where people will carry like nine flashbangs and just flashbang the hell out of somebody, basically giving them like epileptic attacks, and then they, they kill them. It's almost the same thing. They spam the hell out of these boogie bombs. They don't really use them. I, I think they're supposed to be used mainly for like aggressive attacking on vehicles or mainly just in your back pocket. But people will have six of them on them and just throw them at one person and eliminate them and there's pretty good odds that that person that they eliminated has some as well so they kind of just recharge on them they restock on them and i think that was a little bit of a problem i don't think the buggy bombs are that necessary um they should have taken an approach to where you can't have more than one nitro fist right so if you have nitro fists in your loadout and you use all the charges on them and they're they're recharging and you see another pair of nitro fists on the floor you can't grab the other pair and it be good nor can you have more than um two in your uh, more than one in your loadout like you can't have two three four so i wish they did that with boogie bombs i wish you could only have three in your your loadout and you um and you pick up the you know if you pick up new ones it just kind of like takes one away and adds it to your your loadout um but i don't know 
I guess it's really not that big of a deal. But uh, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have played the season so far, let me know what you guys think of the... Do you think it was OP before the um, the nerf? If not, do you think it was okay? Did you like it? And then also after the nerf, do you think it was better? Do you think it regressed the gameplay? I thought it made it a little bit better. I just thought my only gripe was the boogie bombs. I have completely abandoned crossbows and shockwaves. You don't really need shockwaves if you have the nitro fists. Uh, and I will say I've gotten a couple wins, and every win I've gone, I've had the nitro fists on me no matter what. Um, the first win I actually had was me versus. This is pre nerf, by the way. So they. This is pre-update where they nerfed everything I had a pair of nitrofists on me and it, we were in a snowy part of the map so kind of like near a mountain <laughs> excuse me and um this it was me versus another car and all I was doing was punching this car with the nitrofist and if you hit a certain combo you kind of push things forward and that's what I did I pushed the car forward and I kept pushing it into storm so he kept taking more and more damage Eventually to the point where he he was trying to avoid me and he kept accidentally driving into the storm himself. And I think he had, he had already so much damage done to him that if he got out of his car I was going to kill him instantly. Because the storm was just eating him away at that point. And then he came after me again and I shot up in the air to with my nitro fist and I was about to slam down to try and hit him again. And he skidded into the storm and died and that was my first win on... Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3 Wrecked. Uh, the storm was a storm victory. And I can also think of two other wins at the top of my head where I didn't really do much. There was one where I I um, was shooting at it was me versus two other people. It was a 1v1v1. I was shooting at one guy getting a couple crack shots at him with a DMR and I used my Nitro Fist to kind of get closer to him and he was running away and he ran into the third guy and they started fighting each other and one of them killed the other one and by the time I got there I pulled out my weapon because he was kind of far away from me and I literally shot one round of my AR and hit him and I got a victory royale. It was the <laughs> I think I even posted it on one of my videos. It was like the lamest win ever but it was I mean it's kind of easy sometimes when like everybody just has nitro fists and they're like beating the hell out of each other and you kind of third party they're already almost dead so you and then if they try to run away 10 to 1 they don't have a full charge on their nitro fists and you do so you can chase them down pretty easily um I had another one where <laughs> again same deal these guys are fighting it's third party I'm about to shoot them one guy kills the other guy and I kind of realized like why don't I just I'm at a higher ground, kind of like Obi-Wan Kenobi type deal. I'm watching them fight, and I'm I'm about to just start picking one off and helping the other guy. When the other guy eliminated the other one, and then I jumped down, I literally punched one time, hit the guy, and I got the victory royale. So if you play it correctly at the end, you know, you're not too, too aggressive, you can get some pretty easy wins in this season, to be honest. Um, the, the Nitro Fists are definitely, definitely, definitely needed, and I highly recommend every time you play, definitely look for Nitro Fists. Always have them on you, even if you don't like using them as a weapon, they're good to evade and get away, so definitely grab those. Let me know what you guys think about the Nitro Fists. They are pretty neat. I kind of like them. I think they're, they're a cool aspect to the game, and uh, I thoroughly enjoy them. Uh, I've, I've also had some pretty close wins in the past. I've been in some pretty insane circles in this season. Um, I, there was one where it was five people left in this tiny circle. There was three death cars literally shooting just at anything they saw. And I was just jumping in the middle of everything, like trying to get away, and I died. So, I mean, yes, the cars, in my opinion, were very, very OP at first I'm glad they're nerfed I don't really see too many at the end usually if, if it's like I when I first started playing it was always like three or four sometimes in the last like maybe seven people now I kind of only see like one guy driving around and then the rest are kind of like on the floor on the ground with the nitro fists um, it seems like the nitro fists are kind of taking over and after a while, you know, the car is pretty fun to use. I still highly recommend if you haven't used it and you haven't tried it and you want to, definitely give it a go. Drop at, you know, Nitro Dome, grab a car, soup it up, and do do whatever you can. Drive around looking for people. 
like I said, beware of people getting into your car because once they get into your car, they will never leave because they know you'll kill them if they do. So whatever you can, keep them at a distance at all times. And that's pretty much going to sum up the season, guys. That's that's basically my thoughts so far. The cars were OP. It was fun. They were OP. Now they're not. I think the season is pretty solid. I, I don't think it's this amazing season that I've I've had in the past. Uh, but I also don't think it's bad. I think some people complain about it a lot when in reality I really don't think it's too, too terrible. You just kind of have to pick and choose your matches and what you do. Um, I think it's like a solid seven five seven seven range, truthfully. You know, when it first dropped, I thought it was maybe like a solid seven six eight type deal. I think now, uh, you know, post-nerf, post-update, it's a solid, I think, seven five seven seven. Most games I drop in, I, I do pretty decent in. Uh, even if I'm not killing, I'll end up getting a top 10, top 5 situation. And if I am killing, it's it's pretty fun. Um, so check out all that. Check out the, uh, the Nitro Fist. Try the Boogie Bombs. Definitely try souping up a car and doing that. Drop at all the new places like Nitro Dome, Reckless Railways, a Red Line Rig, Brutal Beachhead, Ballers Battle, Battleground. Drop all there. Try and get the medallions. That's pretty fun too. You know, getting all three medallions, getting a win. That's like an ultimate win right there. It's very hard to do. Um, and that'll be it. Now, last little segment that I have is any additions that you guys think that they should add in the game. These are some of the things that I kind of hope that they add in the game. I don't think they will because, I mean, why would they even listen to me? Who cares about me? But these are this is a segment that I want you guys to also get interactive with too, aside from letting me know your thoughts on the season. Let me know what you think they should add. So a couple things that I think is an EMP device would be kind of cool. Obviously, when a vehicle chases after you and you're kind of stuck without an atrophis or some kind of um, way to get around the map, it's pretty cool to think that if you had an EMP device, maybe like a bracelet or something that you can like tap and it goes off and maybe it's got like a 15 second charge on it or a 20 second charge on it. It'd be cool if it like killed the vehicle engine right away and the vehicle just stopped. That gives you a chance to attack, to run, to kind of do whatever you need to to get away. I think some kind of EMP device would be pretty sweet. Uh, second, maybe Molotov nades would be pretty cool. Obviously Fortnite has their own version called Firefly Jars. Um, but I think if they brought those back or made some type of, um, Molotov, you know, type deal, when you think of, like, a wrecked wasteland and a Mad Max type style of, like, gameplay, you think of just, like, grittiness like that, like, Molotov, you know, it's nothing special, it's not this high military grade weapon, it's just something that's makeshift, it's very, very, you know, wasteland, very, very, like, apocalyptic type deal and it'd be cool if you like if you threw it at a car and you landed it would do burn damage to the car maybe even a little damage to the person inside it operating it that would be pretty neat um as well as maybe add different nitro fist very very varieties you know maybe you know the one they have like i said it, it the nitro fist is powered by nitrous and that's why it has those insane punching abilities and all that maybe it'd be cool if they added one that was like emp based you know maybe another one that was uh maybe like armor piercing based where where like it does more damage to vehicles or something like that that would be pretty neat i think and in my opinion um that'd be pretty cool obviously that one's a little bit of a stretch they wouldn't need to do that, especially if they add like some kind of like EMP device. They wouldn't really need EMP Nitro Fist, but that'd be pretty cool if they added something like that. I think that'd be pretty neat. Um, as well as, it'd be cool if they added different car attachments too. It's pretty basic, and some of the car attachments aren't, they don't really scream out like that Mad Max wrecked wasteland post-apocalyptic world type of thing, such as like the grenade turret and the machine gun turret. Those are pretty modern, in my opinion. It'd be cool if maybe they added just a little bit more. You know, maybe give me like a uh, spike spikes on the sides of my vehicle. You know, kind of like old times where the chariots used to have them. Maybe like um, different kinds of weapons. If you if you're not gonna make it so po post apocalyptic, then maybe give me like a laser gun. That would be pretty sweet instead of like a machine gun turret, grenade launcher, laser gun. That'd be pretty dope. I know there's a tri beam rifle in the game. 
Uh, so maybe if you could attach like a laser gun that instead of like going through ammunition, it just kind of like burns up and then it has to like cool down and then you can use it again. As well as maybe, you know, give me like a buzz saw, something that you could shoot like a buzz saw or something like that and you could just rip one. And, you know, they used to have the buzz saw weapon in Fortnite. Uh, it'd be cool if you can attach something like that to your vehicle, whether it's something that's just attached and it's spinning or if it's something that you could shoot out. Maybe like a one-time thing where you just shoot it out and that's it. So that'd be that'd be really cool if they they added a couple more of these things to to the game, you know, maybe like a scorpion tail and it just kind of like whips and like smacks another vehicle. That'd be pretty neat. So that that's basically all I wrote down for any other additions in this game. Uh, I've already gave you my thoughts on this season so far. I think it's pretty good. A solid seven seven post update pre update maybe it was around like a six or seven. Uh, cause cars were definitely OP, but post update, I think it, I think it's pretty solid. Every time I drop in, I kind of have like a good time. Definitely check out the wrecked wasteland. Check out all the new maps. Let me know any other additions you guys want to see. Let me know any gripes or problems and the pros and cons of the season that you guys have. Definitely give me your opinions about it. Like I said, these are just my opinions. Nothing is set in stone. Nothing even really matters. This is just what I think. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in for the first ever stay frosty gaming pod uh this was episode zero technically episode one but the pilot episode zero and on the topic fortnite wrecked chapter five season three wrecked wasteland i'll see you guys in the next video you guys take care uh the next one episode one technically episode two is going to be i believe about hogwarts but uh thank you guys for tuning in let me let me know in the comments what you guys think um and let me know in general, like I said, your thoughts on the the car enhancements, the ground loot, the map design, the boss fights, and any additions you guys want. Thank you guys for tuning in. This was Stay Frosty Gaming Pod Episode 0, um, Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3 Wrecked. And I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys take care and stay frosty.